Hey friends, welcome back to the Uncommodified podcast. Just before I dive into things today, I just want to share a note that I received from a listener about this Unender series. I was really encouraged by this little note I got. Here's what the person said to me. I can't wait to hear the upcoming podcast series. Leaving a legacy certainly makes us look at ourselves in the mirror. Some good and some bad. It's the truth we want to leave behind. It's the truth about who we are we want to leave behind. Challenge accepted to listen to the whole series. Listen, that was a really encouraging note. Please, by the way, if you have a note to send me, you have a question to ask, please just look me up on social media or send me an email at tim at theuncommodified.com. I'd be happy to respond to you. But that was an encouragement, and I hope you're hanging in for this whole series as well. With that, let's get started. This is the fourth, ep- uh, for- this is the fourth episode in a 14-part series. Today, we're going to explore another one of the 13 characteristics, the actions, the passions of those who are unending legacy leavers, the uncommodified, the un enders who, even though they may be gone from my life at this point, they're still alive with me. And they were on enders because they were painters. And I'll explain what that means. They were on enders because they were painters. And if you and I can become painters now in and on the human canvases we encounter in this life, we can and will become unending legacy leavers, unenders in the lives of many people we encounter in this life. Painters. This is what I mean by this. Painters. Now, I have a friend. His name is Terry, and he is a painter. He is a painter. He's a filmmaker. But his primary calling in life, I think, is that he is a painter, and he's painted for many, many years. And when I first met Terry, I remember I asked him, "What do you do for a living?" As you do most people when you meet, "What do you do for a living?" And Terry said, "I help people see." And I thought. Uh, optometrist and he said nope and he invited me over to his house and he showed me a film he was working on at the time and then he invited me to look at some artwork that he had done and man I really began to have a revelation about what art really was because he wasn't uh, an optometrist of course but he did help me see he helped me see the the hidden beauty around me because he his film and a lot of his artwork at the time was about nature or at least that's what I saw in it because it was abstract art and I think you see in it whatever you want to see in it but he helped unlock the hidden beauty of the surroundings even in the area where I live not far from him he unlocked hidden meaning for him for me he uh, he did he did this powerfully through his paintings and that's what I think painters do and this of course we're talking about metaphorically about being painters in somebody's life we're not talking about putting real paint onto their bodies of course but metaphorically when you're a painter you unlock hidden beauty you in the hidden meaning around and you allow people to see like Terry talked and that ability to help people see when it's not always clear is a powerful gift that painters can give to people in this life and that can last as a legacy beyond. Now, painters play with lights and shadow, and our lives are full of light and shadow. And, and when you paint on somebody's life, when you take the brushes of your impact and your effect and your words and, and your actions and you paint on them, you bring out their light and you help them to see in the shadow, but you also help them to see their own shadows. And those shadows are not good or bad. They're just the light and dark that dances in our lives, like in a painting, is just the reality of our humanity. And I really believe that we do impact and bring legacy when we, when we, as a painter does, we use light and shadow as interplay, and we allow people to see that it isn't, it isn't good or and evil. It's light and darkness, and it comes together in some beautiful dance. Now, there are different types of painters, of course, and I don't know a lot about painters, but I have been to several great museums around the world and seen great work from typical artists that we would call impressionists, like Van Gogh and, uh, and these, these other amazing um, uh, artists. They're just so amazing. Now, an impressionist, they make, in, they make this impressionistic mark where they put their own mark on it, and it doesn't look quite like reality. There's an impression of what they see, but they don't just do it to impress They're impressionists. And this is, again, something I think about when I think about this idea in my mind of being a painter. One of the gifts that we have, one opportunity that we have, actually, is to help people take the reality and see it a little bit different and give them an impressionistic view of what's going on so that they can be awakened to something in their lives. Again, of course, we're talking not about physical painting on people. We're talking this and using this more like a metaphor. Michelangelo said that the true work of art is but a shadow of the divine perfection. 
what an amazing way of looking at it. And there is something spiritual, absolutely. When we go into somebody's lives and we add color, when we paint, we help them see, and we apply the painting of our impact and influence on somebody's lives, there's something spiritual about that for sure. Helping them interpret what we see. And my wife and I have been watching this amazing show. If you haven't looked at the show on TV, you should look it up. It's called Sky Arts Landscape Artist of the Year. We watch it on Cottage Life TV, but I'm sure you can watch it in other places. But it's amazing how people can look at the same thing and interpreting what they see, they can, they can actually paint something totally different. And this is a gift I think what painters have as well. The gift that somebody has who's going to leave a legacy as a painter on somebody is their inevitability to interpret what they see and maybe interpret it differently than the person sees in their own life. That's the gift that the painter brings. When you look at your life sometimes and you don't see great things or you see muted colors, a painter can come and reframe that painting and help you to see it differently. And we'll talk about reframing in a little bit because that's a big, big, big part of it. But they can paint it from a different angle or from a different perspective and actually unlock your ability to see your life and to see what's going on in a different way and it's impactful for sure and it leaves a lasting mark absolutely Albert Einstein said imagination is more important than knowledge and this is the gift that painters bring to the people around them not just knowledge or information but they bring imagination to their ability to envision something in an impressionistic way or in a different way and looking at it at that different angle as I said and so again as a painter on somebody's life you have the ability to paint in a way that releases not inf just information but imagination and this is one of the powerful things that we get to do as we paint on the, uh, as, on the life of someone else around us. Ultimately, we get to reinterpret what we see with a new lens. And as we do that, we can see it in a different way. Something that was good, we can see as great. Something that was bad, we can see may possibly as good. Now, really important, you don't have to be a Picasso or an Andy Warhol. You, you could just be a great house painter and make a powerful difference for people. A fresh coat of paint, a fresh coat of paint on an old wall does an amazing thing. It makes it up to date and refreshed. It makes old things new again, making the familiar inspiring again. And so this isn't about being an expert artist or painter, but you could be actually painting something quite mundane in somebody's life. Some, some very simple part of their life, when you repaint it, it can look refreshed. You can take an old event and you can paint it new and they can see it again and help them see their past in a different lens to bring freedom for them. Now, when I think of my dead but not forgotten painters, I think of my mom's natural father who died when she was four, Gordon Strom, whose grave I sometimes still visit today. He was a painter, actually. He was a house painter. He died of lead poisoning, as a lot of painters did back then. He was a house painter, but he was also a human heart painter because I saw the marks of his parenting on my mother, even, even though she, he died when she was young, and on her siblings. The marks and the brush strokes that he left on my mom and on, on her siblings, and the ones that he left on my mom that she transferred onto and into me. And this is how it works. I also think of my papa, whose old pipe I sometimes smoke and whose grave I visit, but I need to be, get there because I haven't been there in a while. But he wasn't a real painter, but he was a furniture maker. And, but he painted on me. He added color and vibrancy to my life, that's for sure, particularly when I was younger and I needed to, to crawl out of uh, a season of maybe gloom in my life. I remember my, my papa had an uncanny way of cracking a joke or saying something in German that was funny to him and I didn't even understand until later on. And he painted just a refreshing color and vibrancy in my life and, and just sort of joy when I wasn't doing well. And that is one of the gifts that painters bring, is that when it is gloomy in the picture that a person is seeing, a painter can paint something that brings joy into the midst, midst of that. Of course, I talked about earlier, just mentioned, you know, this idea of framing and reframing. And this is one of the things that Terry talked to me about over the years, that the importance uh, that a frame plays on artwork. And I didn't really know this because it, it's not, I'm not an artist, I'm not a painter. But he talked about the importance of, uh, of selecting the right frame to frame the work and give a frame of reference, but also how the beauty of the frame actually adds to the picture you're painting. 
And this reminds me that one of the greatest gifts that painters can give to you in your life, one of the greatest gifts that you can give as you become a painter on the lives of someone else around you, is not just the picture you paint, but the frame or the frame of reference that you give. Painters have an amazing power to reframe events, as I mentioned earlier. And they can reframe it or frame it in such a way that you can see it differently, you can look at it differently, and all of a sudden you notice something different. Now, of course, this is a wonderful gift in life, but it's also one that gives impact and legacy. I'll go back to my, my papa for a second. There are times where my papa reframed the events in my life as a child. I can remember this. And I look at them, looked at them differently because of that. And I look at them differently yet even today because of how he did that. Aristotle said this. He said, the aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. And that's where the power of reframing comes in for these painters. Not just painters, but framers. They can frame something amazing. And they not just the outward appearance or the outward significance, but they can frame it in such a way that you see the inward significance of an event or an opportunity. And I would just encourage you, as you paint on the lives of people, this is one way you can do it. When you splash some colors and you actually bring out the inward significance of the moment, of something that's happening, of something that seems mundane, but is actually quite significant. This is where you're really, really using the crafty art of a painter for the benefit of others, and it will be remembered. Absolutely, that is for sure. Painters bring that different perspective. They bring a different perspective, and they bring an opportunity. As Michelangelo said, he said, look, when you when a sculpture, when you sculpt, you, make, you, do, you take away things to make it, but a painter makes it by adding. Painters are adders. They're adding and they're multiplying great things in the lives of other people. Again, they're adding some color here and some, some, some shadows here and some perspective here and then framing it in such a way that you can be energized and encouraged by something you wouldn't have seen that is the gift they bring. And ultimately, of course, like the first episode I talked about, pushers, uh, they're finger painters. They're painting with their fingers. They got that paint all over their fingers, and they're touching you, applying that color, applying that perspective so that you can see things differently. Now, here's my unending challenge for you this week. As you think about this idea of being a painter on the life of another person so that you can leave legacy and impact, here is my challenge for you. I'm going to challenge you to go visit the grave or just connect in your mind with, with one of the people who painted on your life and, ref, and reflect on the colors and on, the, on their maker's marks that remain on the canvas of your life. Uh, so go to the grave if you need to visit them there or connect with them in your mind if you have an ability to do that. But I want you to think about what colors they put on you. What, how did they help you see things? How did they help you reframe your life? Think about that painter ability and just, just thank them for it. Just think of it and consider it. Now, if they're still alive, if that painter is still alive, then, then write them a thank you letter, an email, or call them. Call that present day painter and let them know how they have, how they are, and how they will continue to help you see the hidden beauty of yourself and others. And how they have, and how they are, and how they will continue to help you, again, frame and reframe your life's events. Because at times, that's what that painter has done for you. They have taken something that someone else meant for your destruction, or for, for evil purposes, or for just for, for bad purposes. And they've helped you reframe and to see how actually you've grown and been strengthened by that. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, without that event on the painting of your life, you wouldn't be as strong as you are. Now, another challenge here is go out and find someone to add a little color to this week. Bring some new perspective to. Help them see a new perspective on the narrative or the story of their circumstances. Help them see their story, the painting that's happening in their lives, and paint something new or different in there for them. Uh, something new, A new possibility, a new hope, something. Paint it into their picture so they can see it and begin to build faith and belief for it. Help them see the importance also of their dark and their light, of their shadow and of the shadow that, ha that interplays in their life and how all of this sort of gets mixed up on the palette of our lives and makes something wonderful. Unenders are painters. 
And if you and I can become painters now in and on the human canvases we encounter in this life, we can and will become unending legacy leavers, unenders in the lives of many people we encounter in this life. Thanks for listening, and never forget, you're not getting out of here alive, and neither am I, but your impact will outlast and outlive you, and your reputation will as well. Have a great day.